Alrighty, here we are back to another episode of the Cool Wild Run. In this episode, we're going to be doing the surprise spec add-in, which is the Super Beers and Dirt spec. Now, I didn't actually expect this thing to come in because you didn't expect a Super BRZ to have a Dirt spec kit onto it because this thing is a, a road, uh, basically a sports car for the road only. But it's hence it's here in the game. In fact, I actually went on the internet to look up rally versions of the Super BRZ, and it turns out they do actually exist. Not officially, but they do exist. You can make one into a rally car. Well, technically speaking, you can make anything into a rally car. And in fact, this is actually slightly appropriate for this, the BRZ, because this is the 86 variant of Toyota lines, quote-unquote, and the Toyota A86 was actually used as a rally car back in the day, and it still is used as one. Both variants of the A86 were actually used. There was the three-door one and the two-door one that was used, but the two-door one, as far as I've heard, was uh, the most commonly used, since it had a stiffer chassis. Don't quote me on that, I'm not exactly sure. If that is true... I don't know, I heard that from Initial D, but it's probably not a val valid source about that. Yeah, this thing is actually really, really cool. I especially really, really like the crazy carbon fiber wheel arches they stuck onto this thing. That and also the rear arch is actually carbon fiber and has a little bit of aluminum on it as well. On one, on the, one of the ends, on the front end of the rear arch, there's a bit of aluminum, which is really, really cool. I've never seen any kind of dirt spec car that looks like this. I mean, the X6M, which we had last update, which was pretty cool, it was actually exactly like the first spec car. Well, technically speaking, they actually took the first spec body and put it on a dirt spec, on a dirt spec chassis. So, yeah. But in this case, this actually has some new parts to it. It's kind of, they're kind of recycled parts. But, on some of the bumpers, they actually throw on some rally lights onto it, which is really cool. And their spec cars actually need rally lights. Uh, well, not all the dirt spec cars actually have rally lights. There are some... Let's just say some of the cars don't have them. There's some SUVs that don't have the rally lights. Like the Touareg, and the... Uh, what was that? The X6M? Oh, the Jeep Grand Cherokee doesn't have the, uh, the rally lights onto it. But yeah, interior is basic, it's exactly the same, but by the looks of it, they actually took the street spec body and put it on a dirt spec chassis, and of course, uh, raised up the chat, raised it up a bit, well, I think they took a street spec version of the BRZ, raised up the, raised the suspension up a little bit, so that it could cope with off-roading, programmed it in to off-road, and of course, give it a few different body kits. But in this case, I kind of went with a clean look in this video. I put the stock spoiler onto it. I kept, uh, actually put some crazy f rally lights on the front. The four rally lights. And then uh, a couple of massive fog lights, which are from the first spec one. Rear bumper, I like the dual exhaust. The dual exhaust look cool. And it looks semi-stock. But... I didn't want to make it completely stock because the real arches actually take away from the stock look of it. Kind of wish the dirt spec cars had the option of putting stock wheel arches. So it basically looks like a street spec version of the car, or full stock version. Just a little bit higher off the ground. In fact, I don't know if I ever talked about this, but I, I think I saw some pictures of a Raid Spec R235 which had visual parts onto it. So I'm pretty sure sometime in the future we're going to get the option to customize raid spec cars visually, which is going to be awesome because it said raid spec. On the picture of the car, there was a dev that was working on it, by the looks of it. On the picture of the car, it said raid spec as the kit, and it had a full stock bumper, full stock rear bumper, full stock rear side skirts. It was had massively high ride heights. It basically looked like a Dakar rally car. And what else am I supposed to say? Oh, it also had a stock rear wing. Basically, it looked like a stock car with a, some slight different, slight differentiation and a really high ride height. Of 
course, and also that's what people have been discussing about a lot on the forums. They've been saying, well, the raid spec cards and the, uh, the circuit spec cards need customization. I'd actually disagree with you on that because the circuit spec cards don't have... The real-life versions of the race cards don't actually have many visual options available on them. They're just as they are. But in some cases, there might be some differentiation, differentiations of certain cards. In this case, Let's take, for example, the uh, the Zonda R. The Zonda R actually has two wing options. It has the wing that it has right now in the game that's just attached to the bumper, attached to the sides of the bumper, and then it's also attached in the middle. But there's also the one where it's just a normal wing, like on the Pagani Lyra. It's a wing and it's not attached on the sides. And then with the Z4 service spec, there's two wing options. There's one that's mounted on the trunk, and then there's one that's mounted to the bumper. Which looks incredible. That's the one I really, really like the most. It just says race car to me. The one that's mounted to the trunk just, I don't know, it just doesn't look nearly as cool as the bumper mounted rear wing. I kind of hope they actually just, if they're going to give visual options to the circus pet cars, they should have uh, different wing options. And of course, it'd be cool if you can actually swap the body parts around, because we have this on the R. But it'd be also nice if you could make the Zonda R into the uh, Evolution Zone version, which is an incredibly... Let's just say it's a Zonda R on steroids. That's all that it is. Has a couple, has one more canard. Another pair of canards on the front has a massive wing on the back. It's just... The Ev Evolution Zone is just incredible. But I doubt it's gonna happen. Damn Steam messages. Yeah, this thing just looks incredible with dirt spec on. Let's moving back onto the dirt spec BRZ. This thing just looks pretty cool. I like it. It's a nice addition. It's kind of a it wasn't mentioned, but in a way, there was one car that wasn't actually mentioned. They didn't mention the faction missions that they added in, which have a secret car in them, and they never mentioned it. And it turns out it's the next summit car, and you shall be seeing it in the next video. I'll be taking it out for a drive. I won't be teasing anything about it. Let's just say that it's something that is... Hmm, how can I say it? It's an Ital... It's a... Oh yeah, it's a retro supercar, let's just call it that. And it basically is that. What people call it. Yeah, taking the BRZ out for a drive. I actually took it around White Mountain Loop, but I just decided to take it for a bit more of a drive. Because this thing... I don't know, I just like driving it. I've heard that it's actually up there with some of the... with all the, with the dirt spec cars. It has the most grip of all the dirt spec cars, and it handles the best in all speed scenarios. The only thing that's letting this... this the only thing that lets this car down is the acceleration. The acceleration is kind of average. And the wheel spin issue as well. And like the X6M that was released a while back, the uh, the X6M had a perfect 50/50 diff uh, front and rear differential bias, but this thing has like a 70/30, which uh, causes it to have wheel spin and quite a bit of it. And we're just having a little bit of fun, kind of doing some stunt stuff with this thing. It's just pretty fun. I mean, this, of course this thing's not going to be completely competitive. It, it doesn't have to be. It just has to be kind of cool. Now we're going to try out the little video photo mode, uh, camera mode, a little bit. And it's kind of laggy. The sound is kind of laggy, but that's to be expected because... Hmm. Actually, this is not supposed to be expected like this because it's doing a direct record from your computer. But if you were having one of your friends uh, spectate basically run the camera mode while you're driving, which you can't do with this mode, it, sh it should be laggy because it's going through Xfinity servers and then back to your, uh, your friend's computer. But yeah, in this case it shouldn't be. But the camera mode is actually pretty cool. It's kind of a little... It's a little trippy at first when you use it, depending on which views you use, but when you actually know how to use it, it's pretty good. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining.